Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap, the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 8th of May 2021 and it's hammering down with rain. It's been like this since, I don't know, about two o'clock this morning and according to darksky.net, more on that later, um, we're going to have rain at least until 8am tomorrow. I asked for rain for my potatoes and the lawn actually there is some patching stuff on there which I think I might have already mentioned last week hopefully um yeah we've had enough now really had enough so um this is the Saturday wrap a look back on the week um politics we're out of Perda now there have been elections and um, beer for pure citrus IPA. I prefer the old style can. They have a new marketing plan. Basically, pure and simple beer. Well, whatever. It's nice. B plus plus. So, okay. Um, the word of the week. <laughs> because I'm trying not to forget these things. The word of the week is Beano. Um, only a four-day week. Yeah, and the bank holiday was a washout as well, which was no fun. Four days in the tumble, not in their garden, in the car park. Um, when the wind was blowing, and it was mainly a northerly, it was really cold. When the wind stopped, it was all very nice. I need to be back inside a pub, especially on a day like today. Um, and also spoons, their days need to come back so I can have a curry Thursday again. Now that would be really nice. So my plan was, well, we're not quite sure what's happening here in Wales. Mr. Drakeford's got back in and Mr. Drakeford said he would follow England and reopen the pubs indoors on the 17th. Which is unusual for him because he normally says here in Wales and does something slightly different if for no other reason than to do something slightly different. So indoor pubs in Wales from the indoor pubs in Wales in England. Indoor pubs in England from the 17th. In Wales, maybe. So I've booked to go away on the bank holiday weekend. Worcester. Um, quick word with uh, the um, Hereford Beer House to see when they'd be opening indoors as well. Apparently not until July. Um, vaccines and all that, which is fair enough. Mm. So I will be going to, I don't want to call it a knockoff of theirs, but a, a gentle imitator. They actually asked permission to follow the style. It's the Hop Lords and the Triple B Belgian Cafe, which is not an imitator apart from the Belgian style. And there are two, there are two spoons. One of them opens at seven o'clock because it's actually an hotel. So I'm looking forward to that. And the um, Premier Inn, the price, the price wasn't too bad. And who knows, it'll be a light morning and it might actually be nice weather. That remains to be seen. So um, uh, that's the word of the week. The app of the week used to be Apple and Android and it's Dark Sky. A, a really good weather app, which Apple bought and then closed down the Android version. You can still get a web version of it, although in the week, um, the precipitation radar display completely failed. It's back today and the, most of Wales and the Midlands and north of that is covered in rain. Anyway, um, since Apple took it over, it's no longer subscription. Um, so if you have an Apple device, um, Dark Sky, I like it a lot. Although I tend to fear for its future. But as you don't have to pay for it anymore, go for it. Um, so um, last weekend, 
not the warmest of weekends. S Saturday wasn't that good. Sunday, planting tomatoes, um, blight resistant, which is just as well. Peppers, cucumbers, and spring onions. Spring onions in some of my collection of empty pot noodle pots. You need to keep them watered. They dry out very quickly. And as I've already said, the bank holiday, which was it could be the way forward doing a four day week, I have to be honest, but it was rainy as well, which was a shame. In fact, the whole of April and into May has been cold with northerly or northeasterly winds. Yeah, and there, there was a frost on, frost on bank holiday. No, frost last Sunday, a frost yesterday, and I'm still using de-icing fluid. Luckily, I bought tons of the stuff. Hmm. Okay, um, Monday night, Apple, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, I think watchOS as well, all updated, a WebKit zero day. The only one that wasn't was tvOS, which is surprising because I would have thought inside it would have been web-based, but apparently not. And then Bill Gates to get divorced. Interesting take on that from the No Agenda Brothers, um, which was, for them, really rather nice. Um, leave the guy alone. Um, leave his wife alone. Um, it's not really a nice time, and sometimes people just get fed up of each other hmm there you go um <laughs> politics in the week of the battle of jersey yeah jersey was never in the eu um but as a british protectorate sort of came under that i have to be honest <laughs> The French have no right to fish in those waters. As we have no right to just walk into any part of the EU anymore. It's up to Jersey and the EU to decide what happens in their domain. And the Royal Navy did well, especially HMS Tamar, which had dazzle painting on there. Uh, uh, anyway, that was the Battle of Jersey. <laughs> um, and then there were the elections, as you probably already know. I had a postal vote. Um, the big thing for me about them was, in England, as opposed to here in Wales, they did the count overnight, as they normally do. It was a little bit later than normal due to COVID-19 restrictions, but Wales and Scotland had a bit of a sleep and didn't start until nine o'clock. So we weren't in Wales, here in Wales, getting our results until I think the earliest was about two o'clock yesterday. Anyway, TLDR, Wales, no real change. A little bit of tinkering around the edges, especially in the Rhonda, but um, it's still going to be here in Wales. Make of that what you will. Hmm. Anyway, as I said, um, uh, I was planning. I've already booked Worcester. I have the urge to go back to Bristol. The Ibis near Temple Meads is open again. Sorry, it's she knows. I just fancy a big beano there. Um, and um, I've already ordered two no new Rowan shirts. If I'm going away, um, I don't want lots of washing. I want quick drying stuff because it might rain as well. Um, I need to get some vitamins in to take away. I've changed the batteries in my LED uh, lights, one of which I'm using at the moment. And um, I just can't wait to go although the first weekend i'm going to jump on a bus and go to newport old school and i'm really looking forward to it so there we are Purder over dino's booked and uh, lots of elections and back to normal with rainy bank holidays
Uh, this will appear on YouTube, um, WordPress, MeWe, Twitter, Facebook, and lots of other places as well. Um, comments, positive or negative, and I will see you next week. Probably soggy as well, because the week ahead looks damp. Uh, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.